Hi guys, Dan Hendrickson here. Busy day today. I'm jumping in the car, driving about three and a half hours up to the Forest of Arden Golf Club where I'm going to be having a practice round with my brother Paul. We're going up there ahead of the European Tour event which Paul has had an invite to play in and we're going to have a little practice round. Now I know the golf course is busy, I've booked us a tee time to try and get out and get a feel of how the course is playing but we're going to try and film as much as we possibly can around the golf course so it might seem a little rushed but we're going to try and get round and give you as much footage as we possibly can. Let's jump in the car and uh, meet up with Paul. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. Yeah. What do you want to play today? A little practice round? I'm a bit concerned you've turned up with your clubs. I thought you were here to caddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just feel like I need to have a little look at this golf course in a bit more detail as well. Right, okay. So you're going to try and get a feel for yeah. yourself. So well. what do you want to play today? Um, I think we could play a little... It's the first time we've seen it. Yeah. So I don't think we want to be going around putting ourselves in a stroke play. No, no, no. So um, I think we could maybe do a little best ball. See okay. what sort of score we can shoot. Better ball. Better ball. Okay. Um, I think we'll we... see, see how we get on for nine holes. Yep. See how our pace of play is. And then we'll see how we're getting on there. And then maybe judge whether we carry on doing that for the next nine. Yeah. We'll... Um, I think we're off slightly forward tees here as well because they're saving the tees. So. Yeah. I'm going to try and hit the clubs off the tee, which would put me in the same place as where the back tees would. Okay, do you want me to do the same? You, you can do what you want. You do what I, <laughs> yeah, I normally do, so that's all right. First hole, 385 yards off this this tee yeah, at the back here, 360 from where we are. Paul got three wood in. A little bit up the right hand side. Coming down bunker line. Oh, I see it down there, yeah. Has that popped into the trap? Sure. No, not sure. Good strike though. Good hit. Get you going. So I'm going to go with driver because it's the first tee. It's the biggest club. Yeah. And I like to uh, feel like I can hit hit the ball forward with the driver at the bunker. Let it just fade off that side. Keep cutting a bit. Keep cutting enough, is it? Bounce. Just shorten this water down the left there, Paul. I don't know if you spotted that. That's where I went right. That was it. <laughs> okay, so actually, this bunker is nice and firm. Yeah. Does that give you a bit of confidence coming out of this li lie? It's not. It's not my uh, strong point, fairway bunkers. But um, as fairway bunkers go, this one isn't too bad. It's right. 125 yards to the pin I've got. Yeah. So you're always going to be pretty much a wedge coming out of here. Yeah. So it's not. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I've probably hit it in the in front of the highest point of the face as yeah. well. So, how um, far do you say you've got in here? Got one two five. One two five. What club you got? It's going to hit a wedge. Right. Get, get in there and let's have a little go then. Just this lip. He's got a coat with this lip right in front of us. Pin probably looks back right. Great strike, very good strike. Just got to really nip it off the top there as you come in. Yeah, well played that. Just caught the right side of the green there. That's absolutely spot on. Good shot. Yeah. What you got, Dan? 89 yards on the slope with that. It's only like uh, two two yards uphill. So or yeah. one, one one yard uphill. Sorry. Okay. 89 yards. I'm basically playing 89 yards. Now I was very lucky, wasn't I? Yeah, but you are in a bit of a pickle. 89 yards, I got my 58 degree wedge, I'm just going to give it a thump. Yeah. I'm quite happy that you're in there where you are. Aiming a bit right? Aiming a bit right, allowing for that little bit of tilt on the face. Yeah. Hit it hard. Okay. Tell you what. Oh, is that drawing in? Come down, come down. Oh, it's just got a bit flyery out of that line, isn't it? It's gone over the back. Of a shot. Hopefully we'll be relying on you on this hole. <laughs> Shame because you hit a, you hit a very good shot. Literally, if I can get this to land just on the front of that green, let it release down. And, and just normally be playing for bogey now. Yeah. yeah. Big 
big run down there, look, big slope running up there. Subtle, subtle little greens here, or well, big greens, but they've got some big runs and slopes right away. These are going to be running at about 12. If you knock this in, I can have a go at the birdie then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get some real proper four ball, better ball golf going, shall we? Uphill, just off my right, I'm thinking. Not turned. I think that hit a little pitch mark on the way up there. Okay, you can have that. Not an overly long hole to get us going with here, and even off the back tee it's only 385, but water lurking in the left hand side all the way up along the side of the green. So, and then when you get up onto the green, plenty of slopes, so there'll be some really, really interesting pin placements during the tournament, I imagine. Some really sort of interesting shelves up here, big runoff out the back there. We've got some. Um, Pretty exciting stuff when you get onto the green. Right, Paul, what have you got? Downhill? Slightly downhill. Yeah. <coughs> A little bit off the right, I think I'm reading this. Okay. So just... Playing... No, the wind is not a factor, is it? You're not playing for a wind on this one? It's only a little bit. It's slightly into, but I think it's going to affect it. Yeah. Let's see if we can get in on that stroke of his there, look. Oh. Another putter, that's back to the original putter. I've just spotted that. Coming down, rolling quite nicely. In you go. Oh, cool. That was um attacking spirit. You know, I've got a five, don't you? Yeah. I haven't got the four. Yes. Okay. A little positive Pete down there. Not too sure about that uh, old device. Well, that, that device, I've not used one of these yet, but that's to use your putter to flick the flick it up and then um, and then it just pops out saves you putting your hand into the uh, cup yeah. which we've been using here I've been told these will stay in in place until it, during the practice rounds but then in the event it okay. won't be okay. in the event they'll go back to just normal cups come on let's start strong Yeah, well done. Solid par to start with. Yeah, that's how that works. Solid par, well done. Fiddly little hole. Yeah, hole number two. Hit that, that, that is, tee is right back there, as yeah. you can see there. So I can't imagine you're going to be smack, smacking driver down here. No, um, we're 50 yards ahead of the front tee, so yeah. I'm going to try and allow for that and try and hit it the same spot as I would do off there. Good, I like that. I'm going to join you on this one. Okay, yeah. So what um, cover have we got? I've got a, just a four iron out. Okay, so you might be actually hitting like a hybrid or maybe even a five wood down there. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Depending I mean, on what the wind is doing. This is the idea of practice rounds, so you can, if you really stood here first time in a tournament, you'd have no clue what you were doing really. So yeah. it's good to get a feel. And I think I'm just going to take this one over the corner of the hedge. Yeah. It's 309, the length of the hole. Okay. Um, so hit a four iron, hopefully that should be fairway-ish. Right. And then we'll take it from there. Okay. Here. Yeah, that's spot on. That's nice. Coming down just in there. That's good. Sit down a bit. Sit down a bit. It's just gone through the fairway there. You probably could have got away with a little five iron down there as opposed to maybe four. Did you? You were trying to just tuck that left side a little bit, were you? Yeah. So I wanted to go a bit, bit further. Okay, I think that opens up the green there. Yeah. Though. We'll see when we get up there. So Dan, what are you thinking here yeah, then? I've Same. Got five iron. I'm going okay. similar line to you, but going five iron. Because if I remember, I've played this before, and I do want to go in there with a full shot, ideally for the fairway, because of this green. I think if I remember, this green is a bit narrow. Okay. The thin, or narrow. Yeah. Okay. What you got, Dan? 105 I've got. And I've split this fairway in half. It's a great tee shot. I remember this green being, it's, it's wide, but it's not very deep. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be pretty precise with your kind of second shots in, you know? 
So I would normally hit 58 from here, but that wind is just, I can feel it puffing into us a little yeah. bit. Maybe just okay. off, would you say off the left? Look at that flag. I think it's, uh, look at the clouds, it's mostly into. Could be a fraction off the left. I'm going to try and get a little knock down with a, with a 54 degree wedge. My my my, my um, wedge game has got a little bit ropey on over a bit of time, you know. Okay, yardage 106. 106 coming out of a bit of a fluffy lie, yeah. but quite quite. It feels a bit snaggy. Mm, I think it's snaggy. I think it's going to maybe jump a little bit. Okay, green. So, it's running with us a little bit, so that's quite nice. Yeah, we're, we're into wind. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to play it. Pretty much play it as there's, there's no wind because I think the jumping out of the rough is going to offset okay, off the wind. So it's going to so knock a bit of spin off the shot. Yeah, I'm just going to hit a little one, little 52. Okay. Should be, should be the right distance. That is a good looking shot coming in there. Really good looking shot. Okay, maybe a little short. Short right. But not bad, not bad at all. I think that was. Um, it might have been a fraction stronger than we. Yeah, well, it came out. It didn't come out jumpy, did no. it? It came out actually quite nice. Probably that grass lying with you's probably helped that a little bit. Could have done, yeah, I think a little bit. What you got, Dan? I've got it just maybe just coming off the left slightly, but not too much. Maybe just on the shadow, just left of the hole there. Okay. Just yeah. Running away, kind of. This green is 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 sort of shallow isn't it so mm -hmm. you've got to get you've got to be quite yeah. precise but it's pretty flat when you get up here though isn't it yeah there's not much going on you're reading that similar from back there yeah i think so you're going to give me a good read here as well because i'm on a similar line definitely went right didn't it definitely moved right but i started that a bit right didn't i I think a little bit, yeah. So what do you think on this? And based on what you based on what my, I'm definitely giving this. I'm still thinking it's at that shadowy, just outside the shadow on the left edge of the hole there. You're yeah. saying you're seeing two percent slope saying, with the I fingers. Think probably one and a half, so I'm going to yeah. go somewhere in between. So okay. Six, six inches left. Six inches left, yeah, let's, uh, I, like, I do like that. I think my move certainly did move. I think I pushed it a little bit, yeah. but I think it did move a little bit up the hill. And it is slightly uphill as well. Yeah. See, so you ditched the tailor made. Yeah, he's gone. Go on. Oh, that was a very good part. You got a good read from mine there, didn't yeah, you? Did, yeah, that's the advantage of having somebody on your line. Yes. It's just really important you watch what the other balls do. Keep an do. eye on it. You don't get in their grill, but certainly watch them. Yeah, you don't want to put them off, but yeah. Good four though, well done. Much. We'll take that, yeah. we'll take that. Okay, just checking the wind out. I am, yeah, just looking at the clouds is usually the best way. Yeah. I haven't got I mean, a wind map The second hole was into, off the... <clears throat> Off the right, uh, off the left. So this yeah. should be just into off the uh, into slightly, but off the right. Yeah, more off the, the right than the down right. the, than than into. I think I think what we'll have obviously in the tournament we we'll have a proper wind map yes. that the caddies will get. So yeah. and I'll, I'll share with them that yeah. when I go through the course planner on yeah. on a video as well. So we yeah. will go through all that. But yeah, having a good wind chart is really really important, especially when you get in and amongst the trees. Yeah, it's quite key. Right, three wood for you. Yeah, I got three wood. Back tees back there. So yeah. Hit 563 wood. off the back, but 520 from where we are. 40 yards difference. Yeah. I'm going to hit a three wood. There is uh, a, a ditch at 300 yards anyway, so yeah. you don't really want to be smashing driver down okay. too far here. Let's see it then. Good pull, turning, just start down the middle and turning around towards that tree. Yeah, I see it down just in the rough there, just below what just short short of that tree there, but yeah. a decent position. You might have to go round that tree, but it's still a decent spot. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's okay. Um, I think you can get past that tree, I'm not sure what the distance is to it, but I think okay. we're okay there. Alright, well we'll um, have a little go. I, I'm gonna hit driver. 
Okay, yeah, do it. Right, driver Paul, I think you've got past that tree. Yeah, 206 to get to it. Should be past. Right, come on back. Right. Come on back. I think there's a lot of room out to that right hand side. I don't okay. think you need to hug the left quite that much, you know? Yeah. Okay. Hey okay, Dan. Right, I'm just gonna smash three wood. Okay. Not got time to zap, uh, zap it at this stage. It's <laughs> a great shot yeah. that. That is Go a along. great shot. Just up the throat of the green there, is isn't it? it? It's a short, 20, short. 30 yards short. Take that, happy days. 255 left in. Great drive, got into the fair. I, I'm, that zoom was will be okay on camera, I think, but I couldn't see that down through yeah. the light through that. Got a tree sort of in the way, and I do this, it's just like a two wood thing I got, and um, I've got to try and get it over that, and I might just try and draw it around it a bit as well. Okay. It, it, I've got to get it up quite Starting quick. on the trap up there and then letting it work in yeah just slightly right okay always flight this too high, so i like that i think shot. based on my shot i think that's about spot on you should be able to chase this up if you get one oh, a little bit low off the face there up towards that tree clipped something Clip that just tree, I think. About that tree in front of me, so. Oh, was it? You're just trying to work I mean, it around that. Should have really hit forward, I think. Just oh, really? Come up. You, you struggle with shaping that that way a little no, bit. It was the, it was the height that was the issue. If I'd have pulled it, I would have hit the tree. So I was just right. trying to hit it, trying to get it on the green. But I probably should have hit a forward there and just accepted the front, just short of the green and and guaranteed to get over the tree. Paul has come up just short right of the green he's got a bunker to go over lots and lots of green to work with and the lie is pretty good it's okay yeah it's all right not, not a difficult shot it's uh, 42 yards little pitch so yep. i'm just gonna land it just over the bunker and let it release as much as it can yeah um so yeah it's not not a bad leave actually okay up and over are you doing away. anything differently here or are you just playing a normal shot i think i think runs away from me so I think it's going to release quite a bit okay the, the green so kind of play it with that bet bearing that in mind yeah go a little bit come on keep running out keep running out anywhere near enough did you just left it a bit short from the pitch yeah. come out all right though didn't it just came out right. quite I need to land it another five yards yeah I think it would have released out but it's okay we'll have a just a little pitch down up the yeah, green. I'm going 54. Okay. Just going to try and land it kind of, I don't know, four paces on and then let it sort of skip and then release, maybe release out towards the hole. Yeah. Just keep it at that loft, I think. Let it skip up there a bit right again. Yeah. Might be my alignment, maybe. I may have been out there a bit. Good shot though, decent shot. Yeah. Paul having a little look. What are you seeing here, Paul? Doesn't look like it's going to do a lot. No. I could, I could almost argue it could go both ways here, looking at this reed. So okay. it's probably going to hit this pretty straight. Right. Okay. Anything you see? I don't see a lot. I think I'm absolutely the same. Really, pretty straight at it. It's, we've Just kind of hit. We've hit a bit of a flat part of the green there. Yeah. I think you've got to be careful on this one. I think past the pin, it then releases down the. Okay. Yeah, it's all uphill and then it just, as it gets past towards the hole and then us, it kind of really sort of falls down towards us here. Maybe moving way off to this uh, right hand side there. That moves a lot more than we both read there. Subtle breaks. Alright, just tapping in this par. Firm and straight, I'm reading this as caddy. Yeah, solid. Well done. That's gone in. Right. Perfect birdie then. Yeah. That is. Uh, come out of that three wood. I'm quite happy with that three wood out of that line. Eh? Yeah. In the rough there. Right. Based on what I've seen from yours, yep. I'm seeing maybe just off the left edge. Yeah, sure. Um, slightly uphill. 
fractionally. Fractionally uphill. Just off the left edge and let it just move. Oh. It didn't move, did it? Incredible. It did not move. Uh, is that alright? Uh, yeah. You've got the five, haven't you? got the five. 